Hi everyone, in this video we will be learning how to implement product flavors in our Android app. So first of all, let's learn what is a product flavor. Uh, in simple, a product flavor is something like you have multiple build types in a project. For example, you want to create a project which have two variants like one should be a free and second is a paid version so you you have two options how you can do it either you should create two separate projects for the both versions or you can use product flavor so in product flavor you can define uh, like different modes like something you have defined like uh, a variable that if you build the free version you can use that variable and for the paid version you can use different variable uh, for different functionality of the different variant of the app and you can use other things like uh, application ID minimum SDK version uh, for different build variants in product product flavor so let's get it started in the uh, coding environment so you can understand what is the product flavor and how you can implement it this would be the first part of the product flavor and you will know how to implement it and in the second part of the video we will learn um, more implementation of the product flavors so let's get started i have already created an empty project for the android so let's jump into the build gradle file in here we will define flavor dimensions flavor dimension is something like a group for the product flavors we will understand this in details in the next video for this video we will make it simple we have defined a flavor dimension named as mode now we'll define our flavor here we will define a free variant of the app like uh, we have a flavor for the free variant and flavor for paid variant of the app we will define the dimension that this flavor belongs to this dimension of both belongs to same dimension and now we will define a build config of type boolean so we can use this in our app we can use this variable is paid in our java code or kotlin for performing different functionalities let's do a greater sync okay we have some error okay i have to remove the dimensions s now let's try again and as you can see flavors is created we have two versions of the app one is free and one is paid and both have release and debug version now let's design a button and perform an on click operation
now we have an on click function here we will display our build config variant that we have defined in product flavor so that we can understand how the product flavor behaves okay i guess i have to define it in different way since it was bool i have to convert it to a string to display in the toast function now let's run the app in emulator or device to check Now as you can see it has displayed the boolean status of false because this is the free version and we have already defined false for the free version now let's change the version to paid and let's rerun the app now it is showing true so this is how you can use product flavor in your application you have you can have more than two product flavors you can have multiple dimensions in the next video we will implement the dimensions and we will learn more about product flavors how you can use minimum sdk you can change build configurations and in this video we have learned how you can define a build config variable and use it in your java or kotlin code so thanks for watching and if you like my video don't forget to subscribe